The farmhouse look is in this season and today I'm going to share with you how to make your own farmhouse style planter box by creating a stencil. So the first thing you need is an unfinished wood tote box and you're going to paint or stain it. I'm using some Minwax staining cloths and this is for inside but um, you could totally use it on this project. You also need a Sizzix Eclipse 2 machine and some 12 by 12 vinyl. You're gonna put your sheet of vinyl on your cutting mat and load it into your Eclipse 2. And then in the Ecal Light software, go ahead and start making your typography so that you can create your stencil. Now here I'm using a font called Baskerville and I'm put, making each individual letter and number um, by itself. That way I can adjust them as needed. Then to create the little line under the O for number, I'm using a rectangle out of the shape library that comes with every single Eclipse 2 machine. I'm also making sure to fill that with black um, so that it is a solid item just like the rest of my items here on my um, little typography design that I'm creating. And I'm just touching each item, you know, selecting each item and then resizing it using those little toggle handles on the outside of the bounding box that appears when you click any of the shapes. So you can see I'm resizing the little period and moving that around. And then once you have everything positioned exactly where you want it, um, click over to the left and then drag a box and that's going to select everything and you can group it all together and then this way you can scale you can resize it um, and keep the proportions or you can drag the whole thing and make it all taller or all shorter you can also use the lines here the grid lines on the map to make sure everything is lined up now because I wanted to make the end a little bit narrow I uh, or a little bit narrower I ungrouped everything made my end narrow moved it back into position and then selected everything again and regrouped it all so that I would have it all in one piece. Now once you cut that out on the Eclipse 2 machine you're going to weed the vinyl that means take out the parts that we don't want and then I trimmed it down a little bit so it'd be easier to handle, peeled off the vinyl and then carefully placed my stencil onto the wood. You can use a transfer sheet to do this but I find it's a lot easier just to do it by hand and then I transferred over the center of the O and the 4. Next I used some chalky finish paint and a stencil brush to um, put the paint through the stencil so I would get an antique effect. and. Um, you want to let this dry completely, then remove your vinyl. Then once everything's dry, you're going to use a sanding block. Now here's a DIY sanding block. Just take a piece of sandpaper and wrap it around a block of 2x4 and staple gun it in place. I'm using this sanding block that you can get at the Home Depot. This is just a piece of foam that has the sandpaper or the sanding material applied to it. Rub that all over your um, box and wipe it down. And then use a spray sealer like Thompson's Water Seal to seal it. Next, you can add your plants or put garden tools in there, whatever you like. I hope you enjoyed this DIY tutorial. Please click that subscribe button at the end and hit me up over on Instagram. I'll see you again soon. Bye.